he did nothing. It's a shame to be in the house of God when so much needs to be done and you do nothing. You should do something. And the word of the Lord that I have for you, I don't have a subject, subject, I just have a message to send to you. The message is don't just sit there and do nothing. Don't just sit there and do nothing. Those of you that have been sitting around doing nothing, it's time for you to do something. Even if it's picking up paper off the floor. It's odd how people want to criticize, but they don't want to do nothing. They want to criticize the choir, but they don't want to sing in the choir. They want to criticize the program, but when they're asked to do the welcome, they refuse to do the welcome and don't want to do nothing, but got the nerve to say they should have did this and they should have did that. They want to criticize the testimony service, but they don't want to testify. It's puzzling how the main people that are talking are the main ones that are doing nothing. Tell somebody it's going to get hot in here. Talking about the offering, but don't want to give nothing. And if we look at the records, we can see that you're not paying your tithes. People don't want to participate, but they want to partake. When the choir is struggling, and when there's two or three members, uh, when the ministry is going through a transition, uh, and it's looking a little dim, uh, and people don't want to participate, uh, they want to talk, uh, but they don't want to get involved. Uh, but when God start blessing the choir, uh, and when they become 10 members, uh, and then 20, uh, and then 30, uh, all of a sudden, uh, I want to sing, I want to solo. Uh, they don't want to participate, uh, but they want to partake. Uh, when God start blessing, uh, then you're going to want to jump on board. Uh, when God start increasing this ministry, uh, then you're going to want to jump on board. Uh, when we start expanding, uh, then you're going to want to jump on board. Uh, then you're going to want to give your tithes. Uh, then you're going to want to support the ministry. Uh, yes, uh, people want to participate, uh, but they don't want to partake. Uh, don't just sit there huh, while the church is going through, huh, while there's ministry that needs to be done. Huh. Don't just sit there huh, and do nothing huh, in order huh, for the body huh, to properly function. Huh. Every member. I know y'all ain't going to like me. I know how Jeremiah and Isaiah felt. God told Isaiah, I'm going to give you a message and nobody going to receive it. And nobody going to say amen. Jeremiah preached a message and looked around. He was in prison. But I'm not getting in trouble for nobody. So I'm going to preach this word whether you say amen or not. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. In order for the body to function properly, every single member has to do something. Your fingers have a job to do. Your toes have a job to do. What will happen if you lose your toes? Well, you will lose your balance. The body becomes dysfunctional when the members are not functioning. The body becomes dysfunctional when the members are not functioning. I got two questions and I'm gonna move on. Are you a member of this church? Are you functioning? Don't just sit there and do nothing. You might say, well, I can't do much. But my answer to you is you can do something. 
I was at a function yesterday with Alderman Jones. It was an outdoor event, and it was raining, and, 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 and you know, I work for the bank, and we had a table set up, but we, we couldn't work our table because of the rain. So me and the guy that was with me, we were sitting around, and we really wasn't doing anything. But I saw the people picking up the pop, and, and, and it was mostly women picking up the chairs. And I said, you know what? I'm not just going to sit here and see that there's work that needs to be done. I see that there's things and people that need help. And I'm not just going to sit here and do nothing. I looked at the guy and I said, you know what? I'm going to make myself useful. And I picked up a chair and I said, where do you want me to place the chair? Even though that wasn't my job, even though that wasn't my title, huh? even though that wasn't my position, huh? even though I wasn't called to do that, huh? even though I wasn't being, being paid to do that, huh? but I realized huh, that something needed to be done. Huh? And guess what I did? Huh? I did something. Huh? Yes, I did. Huh? I just picked up the chair huh? and put it where they needed to be put. Huh? I said, where do you need these chairs to go? Huh? I made myself useful. Huh? I just didn't occupy space huh? for nothing, huh? but I made myself useful. And then the event got a little dull. But it was about 80 people there. But it started to get dull. And then the host got the microphone and she said, is there anybody that can do something? It's getting a little dead and dry. Is there anybody that has a talent? Is there anybody uh, that has an ability? Uh, anything you can do, uh, we just need you to do it. Uh, and you'll be surprised. Uh, the various talents uh, that were in the house, uh, you will be surprised uh, of the undiscovered uh, abilities uh, that were in the place. Uh, there was a little kid, uh, and he said, you know what I can do? I can bend all the way back. So he got in front of everybody, and the people were just drifting away. But when the kids start to bend back, people start to come. It starts to attract attention because they start doing something. And people start to watch. And I got interested. And he bent all the way back made himself into a human table uh, and another little kid came uh, he said you know what i can do uh, i can do a flip uh, even though he didn't do a good flip uh, but at least he did a flip uh, he did half of a flip uh, but at least he tried uh, at least he attempted uh, you may not can see uh, like karen clark uh, but at least you can try to do something. Uh, so he did half of a flip. Uh, and it was this heavy set girl. Uh, and she said, I can do a cartwheel. Uh, and she got there. Uh, and even though she didn't do a good cartwheel, uh, because she had some hindrances, uh, but she did a cartwheel. Uh, even though people uh, might have laughed at her. Uh, but guess what? Uh, at least uh, she did something. Uh, and then uh, there was this 45-year-old woman. Uh, she said, you know what I can do? Uh, even though I'm 45, uh, I can do a split. Uh, so she got in the middle uh, and she did one of these numbers. But guess what? Uh, people may have criticized her. Uh, people may have laughed at her. Uh, people may have criticized you. Uh, people may talk about you. Uh, people may make fun of you. Uh, but at least uh, you're doing something. Uh, you may not be doing it uh, like Sister Boogaloo. Uh, you may not be doing it uh, like Brother Tutu. Uh, but at least, at least, at least uh, you're doing uh, something. Uh, and God will bless you uh, for doing something. Uh, God 
will bless you uh, for doing something. Uh, God will bless you uh, uh, for doing something. It may not have been much to anybody, uh, but at least they did something. Matthew 25 and 25. The man had one talent. The man didn't do much. He hid his talent because he didn't think he had much to offer. I don't care who you are. You don't need a title, but you have something to offer in this ministry.